our research project is based in northern Mongolia and a lot of us are out there this summer um, conducting research on how climate change is likely to affect the steppe vegetation and this is really important for the um, the people of Mongolia because a large proportion of them uh, live off the land with livestock and so the response of, of the steppe to climate change is going to be really important for the livelihoods of, of Mongolian people. Here we have a tree stump that actually fell down on Penn's campus due to Hurricane Irene and we've brought it to this parking spot so that visitors can actually take their own tree cores from the stump just as we do in Mongolia and what we're looking for is we're looking at how the trees in Mongolia have reacted to past changes in climate so we can try to predict how the forest ecosystem will react to the climate change currently occurring. Uh, taking a tree core involves drilling a hole into the tree, it doesn't harm the tree, and you get a thin strip of the inside of the tree out of it. You'll see many different uh, rings on the tree that are you can easily tell the dry and wet years and we also look for different isotopes in those tree rings to try to see the water use efficiency of the tree itself. Based on how well the tree is taking up water, it will leave either heavier or lighter isotopes behind in the wood. And so when we compare that to the climate record, we can see how well the trees were using water in hot or cold or dry or wet years. And there are other things you can tell here. Obviously you can immediately see different sized rings. So this one's a large one, so there was a lot of growth in this single year. Here the, the rings are very close together, which means that there were several years of not very much growth. And then another interesting thing is here the rings are large. If you travel around, they're, they're not so large on this side of the tree or here which might suggest that this is south-facing, gets more sunshine, or it might suggest over here there's another tree shading it out. And so, and so you can tell lots of different things from looking at, the, uh, look, looking at the tree rings. And then here you've got the thin section of bark, and just within the bark are the vessels that they call phloem. And the phloem conduct the, um, the sugars and nutrients, and the xylem conducts water.